Archaea's potential system in a nutshell. So what is it for? Potential, or PTT, unlocks four things in the game. The Beyond Chapter, Luna's Map and World Mode, Psyche's Stronger Future, and Igo Seeker Future. Other than that, you use it to uh, flex, I guess. Anyway, this number represents a player's current progress in the game. It starts from zero up to the highest badge with two stars. The exact max value is pinned in the comments as it changes over time. So how does it work? Your potential changes depending on the scores you get. According to the Archaea Wiki, each play you submit has a result rating that gets recorded on your statistics. This result rating is a sum of two things. First, is the chart constant. A constant difficulty value given to every single chart in the game. Then we have the score modifier that's calculated based on your score. Scoring AA and above gives a plus to the CC, while scoring below it lessens it. Now your potential is an average value of 40 result ratings, 30 of which are your all-time best ratings, while the other 10 are the highest 10 ratings out of your most recent 30 plays. What makes my potential rise or fall? Well, let me rephrase something for a bit. Your potential isn't really affected by score alone. You also have to consider the difficulty of the song you're playing. Therefore, it's actually the result ratings that affect your potential. Playing something you're good at and or that's on par with your skill level while generating result ratings within the range of your potential is the best way for your potential to stay. Moreover, owning more song packs gives you more song choices and therefore higher opportunities to get more potential. So in conclusion, performing better generally makes your potential rise while performing worse makes you more likely to lose potential. Keep in mind though that Upscoring doesn't always mean you'll gain something, and the same goes for downscoring. Which leads us to this question, I upscored, but I lost potential. I downscored, but I gained potential. Why? Well, this is a natural phenomenon that's supposed to happen, and it's mainly caused by coincidence. The recent top 10 scores change over time, so not all scores could stay there, no matter high or low. When you lose potential on an upscore, it may be because the rating from that particular upscore may have pushed something higher out of the list, or you got some bad plays before that upscore and that score wasn't enough to maintain your average. Yeah, it's not because the game is merciless or something. On the other hand, when you gain potential on a downscore, that rating may have been high enough to rank within your recent top 10, thus raising your potential. Now, is there a way where I'm not guaranteed to lose potential? There are two. One is getting an EX score and above on songs. No matter the rating, you won't lose potential. It would be bullshit if you lose potential from getting a max pure memory on your updated PSD1. And the second is getting track loss with the hard gauge partner. Your rating may get super low when you fail on a song early and that would really tank your potential down if it's considered. And oh, if you're wondering why you lost potential with Fracture Hikari, that's because she actually gives easy clear even though her gauge changes to hard when you play with her. But can I just not lose potential? Well, it is inevitable to lose potential, and honestly, it isn't a bad thing. You'll get it back soon enough. Sometimes, it's just not your day. Now, putting this the other way around, you're not guaranteed to frequently gain potential either. Sometimes, we get stuck, and that is also not a bad thing. Well, one more question. How do we reach 11 potential? I wanna play Psycho or Bagel Seeker. Well, the short answer is 
Kristunt. It ain't worth it, I swear. Well, to explain things further, players have observed that most people who play Saikyo or Idol Seeker immediately after they reach 11 potential get low scores and end up leaving it alone. Furthermore, if you think your skill skills are not there yet, don't play songs that you can't clear. And no, I'm not talking about easy clear. That just mostly gives you a free pass and doesn't really guarantee that you get the hang of the chart. Focus on getting better scores and training your accuracy on the lower level charts first before taking on more technical and tiring charts. But actually, there's no need to rush potential in general. It's just a number. Don't sweat it too much. With that, I'm going to give you all a reality check. Potential isn't everything. I tried the lengthy essay on why that's the case, but Guy Kun, the lead developer of Arkea, has a really nice statement about this. I quote, Potential is only a measure of your progression to Arkea and not a goal. You should play Arkea and challenge harder songs periodically while having fun with things within your ability range. Your potential would slowly grow over time and it staying still for periods of time is not an indicator of no progress. Well, potential isn't the only thing in the game that reflects your progress. Like, let's give one example here. Upscoring charts, it's already an improvement in itself. Many players have been observed to react negatively when losing PTT on upscores. I mean, come on, at least you upscored. Look at the bright side, yo. Now, here's some advice. Grinding potential isn't a race, but a marathon. I'm quoting a friend here by the way. Players progress differently. Some can get to 12 potential in a few months, while others may take years to reach the same milestone. There will always be people who progress faster than you do, but don't worry about it too much. At the end of the day, we all run the same path. Just play at your own pace and you'll get there. If potential makes you feel frustrated, you always have the option to hide it in settings. This option doesn't make your potential disappear though. It will still do its thing behind the scenes. You just don't get to see it directly. And last but not the least, let yourselves enjoy playing the game every once in a while. Playing competitively is nice, but you'll just get it chill sometimes. Just seriously, just have fun, you know? Clear your mind, just play songs you like and stuff so should i give a shit about potential well it's up to you whether you want to be competitive or chill it's okay just don't let it make you go insane and that's it from me thanks for sticking around <laughs>